welcome to Nenabling with Ali, starring David. <laughs> um, so we're doing this video today to talk about the leather because we want you to be as passionate about the leather as you are about our fabrics. And they are so special and the process is so intense. I know we talk about fabric being this really intricate and intense process. If you could see the leather making process, it is a lot of work. So we had some questions about um, leather that we've had for the past few months and I actually sent David, Don David, to Guatemala to meet with our tanneries, to, we have several tanneries, to do some investigative work because we realized maybe we don't know as much about the leather that we're you know, putting on the bags as we should and so we got some really good answers and David's going to tell you about those. And good videos. We got good videos. So we'll also put some videos up so people can see um, some of the differences. So um, first I'd like to say that the difference between grain and grade is uh, probably our biggest hot topic that we want to bring up. All of the leather that we've used has been grade A leather, so you're getting great quality leather, but there is a difference between the grain and a difference between the finish. And so um, the grain you that you're this? seeing here, okay. the grain that you're seeing here um, was one that we didn't use typically on the bags. Um, it's a more finished look and it's literally a five to 10 second process of, they call it perfecting it or fixing some of the blemishes that what, you know, what we used before was actually part of the characteristic of the bag. So the main differences are you're going to see a lot more with the full grain, um, the imperfections, the scarring, the, the cow's life, the, yeah, the cool stuff. We actually have a bag that has a brand on the bottom of a bowl. <laughs> it's going to be a sweet bag. So, um, that is, it's full grain. And then there's top grain. Top grain is just a, a very quick process to get rid of some of the imperfections. So, um, sorry, just to clarify, he's saying the difference between these two, because we think, oh, I want full grain, like full is the best, because, you know, we talk about it like full, top, what's after that, genuine? Genuine. Genuine, and then like a bonded leather, mm -hmm. and then it's like PU leather. The difference between these two, they cost us exactly the same. same They're equally as expensive to buy, the leather is an eight second difference and so we said well how come you don't sell the top grain for less money and he's like because it's like an eight second difference like yeah. they're both expensive yeah just to be clear just to be clear um <clears throat> and we actually have a really quick video that we'll put on about that so people could actually see the process it's pretty quick and informative um and then the other difference uh with the leather that some people have uh, there are a lot of you out there who receive the bag and then like to change the, want to change the color to personalize it a little bit or even refinish it with your own, uh, what Conditioner. do you call it? Just conditioners. Um, some of the leather that is on the bags is finished, so that's the other difference. There's a finish, grain and grade, but the finish of that bag had an additional wax to seal the color that we had selected for the bags. Um, and it's called paraffin wax, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. But basically what it does is it seals in the the oils and the colors, but what it does for people who are trying to change that color or refinish it and condition it is it's going to make it a lot harder because you're trying to change something that's been finished a little more. And it's something that we're not, you haven't typically seen on our bags, but that we use in other things like, like Nicoleon uses in, in their shoes. So it has a different finish because it's a different type of... See how similar these are? Yes. So the paraffin wax and then what we are going to do so that people are aware because they're both very high quality leathers um, but there's just a difference in taste so a lot of people like to see those characteristics of the bag in the leather other people like to have a more finished look to it um, and so what we're going to do to help everyone is that we're going to have the three images like we've been having the last uh, few drops that's going to be the front the back and the bottom of the bag where you're going to see the majority of the leather and so that way you can better decide, I guess. So one's that. not better than the other. It's totally a personal preference. preference. So top grain um, is a more polished look mm -hmm. and full grain is a more like rugged look. And so it's definitely a matter of preference. And you'll be able to choose that when you're purchasing. 
in but, the description will have it'll say top right, right or like right. you can't choose I like that we peel and this is the leather I want it'll yeah. say in the description so be sure to read the description and look for top or full grain to, if you can't tell by just looking at the photo which one you're getting mm -hmm. um, and we did a thorough educational training with yeah. our team here so that because there has been even some confusion on our end of mm -hmm. which is top and which is full um, and because different people like full and different people like top here mm -hmm. in the office so we did a really David did a really great training with them so we're much more educated on our end and we can then give that to you in the description when you're shopping and it was it was such a fun training. It was really fun. People <laughs> loved it. <laughs> so that's uh, that's an enabling with Allie. Starring David. <laughs>